thank you for sharing with your personal experience. And as a clinician yourself and as the patient, Tammy, this is the main reason why I come to this clinic, because I love seeing all of those healing miracles, so to speak, on a daily basis mm -hmm. for the past 19 years. Mm -hmm. And many patients would ask me, have you tried laser yourself? Did you have any kind of health issues yourself? Well, just like anybody else, of course. I've had a car accident. I've had a T-bone collision. I've had a whiplash injury. It's documented. I have a file as the patient in our clinic with x-rays, medical reports, C3, C5 instability. And of course, the insurance company will tell you, hey, those are the rehab guidelines. You have to be out of commission for three months. You're going to go through physiotherapy and this and that. And I said, no, I will do something you have no idea. It's called laser therapy. And Dr. Khan, who was the one who did the assessment initially, prescribed customized prescriptions for me. Four weeks of intense laser treatments. Again, we have all of my treatments with accuracy to the joules and seconds in duration in our systems. Four weeks of laser treatment. I've never looked back. And why I love sports myself. Since I've healed my neck with that instability, I never looked back. I've regained full range of motion, no headaches of any kind. I was very fortunate. I didn't have concussion. But since then, I've started practicing Taekwondo. I'm playing volleyball, and I'm physically very active without any neurological issues, so balance, so coordination. So that is why I agree with you absolutely. We're not against the football, hockey, or any of those kind of impact sports, not at all. What we want to see happening in the same way, let's say some muscle injury, bone fracture would be treated following certain treatment protocols. I'll give you an example. Everybody knows these days it's called RICE. It's an acronym and it stands for rest, icing, compression, elevation. I want to see something like this for laser, for photobiomodulation when it comes to concussions. Introduce patients to non-invasive, effective healing modality as soon as possible. Heal the brain, the most important organ in the human body that controls every system, that controls the function of every cell. Is that's not exaggeration. Allow the brain to heal rather than following this so-called concussion uh, protocol. Tammy, you've mentioned, yes, just like your mom, she's been told, stay flat, close the blinds, kill your TV, ceiling lights, and stay like this, take aspirin for headaches for like two or three weeks. That's not the treatment. It, in my personal view, and I think many uh, clinicians would agree with that, it's almost like a passive neglection. So just leave it alone and something, we don't know what exactly will happen. And then patients like Wyatt would say, nothing is happening. I'm not getting better, I'm getting worse. And it's true. As the time is passing by and the situation is shifting from acute into chronic, and then we know uh, it sets into neurodegeneration, it becomes more and more difficult to undo that damage. It becomes more and more difficult to prevent the brain, such a delicate tissue organ, sliding into that irreversible state. So that is why uh, Tammy knows, and this is our perhaps one of the strongest aspects of patient care, we educate our patients. We share with patients good research. We point them in the right direction where to get some good quality educational material to read about this. And Tammy, with your permission, I would like to share with Wyatt another very good source. It's the book written by world-renowned expert on brain neuroplasticity, Dr. Norman Deutsch. And the title of it is, Wyatt, you're going to love it, The Brain's Way of Healing. So there you can learn a lot, not just about laser therapy, photobiomodulation, which is in chapter four. Uh, Dr. Deutsch paid a lot of attention, starting researching in detail what exactly is happening in between photonic energy of the laser and the brain cell, but also other approaches, other interventions. I think you will enjoy reading the book, but also you can watch a documentary. There was a documentary based on that book, and you can watch it on YouTube. Same thing, you can just type in the Brain's Way of Healing documentary. So this is what we always trying to do in our efforts to help patients educate, provide with good quality information, introduce the latest technology, initiate the healing, and support them along the way.
Unfortunately, there is another aspect of CTE, TBI, post-concussion syndrome that patients don't want to talk about. So if, if I may, I will mention symptoms associated with anxiety, depression, suicidal thoughts, emotional instability, liability, insomnia. So there are so many other things that happen as the result of this non-healing traumatic brain situation that eventually affects their life, their social life, professional life. And Tammy, you just mentioned about your mom. Indeed, how can you function if you're a uh, high-level professional and you cannot do basic things? So that is why we take this matter very seriously. And of course, like I said, we want to see this effective, non-invasive healing modality available to patients as soon as possible. We want to deliver this healing message to patients and to healthcare practitioners who are involved in the care of those patients. Initiate the healing as soon as possible. Use it. It's safe. It's safe for children. It's safe for seniors. Every time we see somebody on TV, in the news, somebody of older age suffering from neurodegeneration, we feel sorry for them, but we know at the same time, if only they would have that piece of information, if only they would have access to this technology, things would be different. And this is our position. This is the work that was initially laid into place by Dr. Fred Kahn, and we're still trying to do that, helping as many patients as we can, but also educating healthcare practitioners so that they can help their patients in their respective geographical locations.